how did this alleged agent of the Chinese Communist Party gain influence at the heart of British democracy? Christine Lee, a Chinese lawyer living in London, has spent years and hundreds of thousands of pounds trying to interfere in UK politics, and she has managed to rub shoulders with prime ministers, party leaders and other influential figures. But today, MI5 issued a major security alert warning MPs about her activities. The fact that this alert has become public today in the way in which it has um, is really a very strong illustration of how our intelligence and security agencies have been working together to really spot and identify these, this type of activity, um, activity that could potentially do harm to our country and harm to our democracy. The Security Service Interference Alert sent to MPs identified Christine Lee as knowingly engaged in political interference activities on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party. She has been, it said, engaged in the facilitation of financial donations to political parties, parliamentarians and individuals seeking political office in the UK. To ensure the UK political landscape is favourable to China's agenda and to challenge those that raise concerns about Chinese activity. Her main entry point into Parliament appears to have been provided by Labour MP Barry Gardner. In total, she has donated over £500,000 to his office. A big chunk of that has been spent employing staff, including her own son, who has been working for years as Mr Gardner's diary manager, with a security pass that gave him full access to the parliamentary estate, until just this morning when he resigned. Mr Gardner said in a statement today that he had been working with the security services, that none of the donations made to him had been improper, and that Ms Lee's son wasn't aware of her activities. Following the security warning, though, some MPs called for further action. How can it be, Mr Deputy Speaker, that an agent of a foreign despotic and despicable power that is hell-bent on reducing many of those people into uh, penury, it seems, how can they put somebody into Parliament, this mother of Parliaments, and then that individual have nothing done to them other than they're not allowed in Parliament? This is surely not good enough. From 2015 to 2020, Mr Gardner was in a position of some influence, serving in Jeremy Corbyn's shadow cabinet. During that period, he took a strong position on the Hinckley power station in favour of Chinese involvement and pushed back when the then Prime Minister, Theresa May, considered halting progress on the project. I do think it makes us look completely chaotic for investors in this country. And he wasn't the only one targeted by Ms Lee. She also donated £5,000 to the Liberal Democrats in 2013. In a statement today, Ed Davey said he was shocked by the revelations and the donation to his local party had been properly reported at the time. Go back a decade and British politicians were wooing the Chinese government, hoping for investment and trade. But since then, relations have soured following violence in Hong Kong, international outrage at the treatment of Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang and domestic security warnings over Huawei's role in the UK's 5G network. And today's warning could be just the beginning as MPs continue to look into hostile foreign powers infiltrating British democracy. And the Home Secretary has said there is still much more to be done.